Hello everyone and welcome back to the Random Pets Genetics Challenge here in our laboratory where we currently have some excellent beaked canine experiments on display as you can see with Rosie, our 77th experiment who has some fantastic finch coloring accentuated by those very, very vacant eyes. <laughs> Oh, Rosie. And the wonderful bird beak that she happens to have. Unfortunately, she did not inherit Ananasoa's really awesome claws and hooves, but I'm very happy that she managed to pull off Mariska's bird beak. And we did go ahead and made a, we made a bonus dog last time. And Ashley is here with the bird beak, the hooves, the claws. I have to say, I love where our canines are going. But today, the final day, may I say, that Kiera will be with us because you're not escaping the passing of the years this time, ma'am. You are now an elder. Today is the final day she will be with us and today the random generator rolled that we will be working on cats, which is just fine by me because that means we will finally make it halfway through the feline side of our genetic experiments and we will have our 50th cat. This is quite the occasion. I mean, halfway the halfway point out of 100 animals with the cats it's been almost a year of doing these episodes can you believe that and we have had literally hundreds of you guys become the cats the dogs the questionable other kinds of animals and the lab assistants in these episodes so don't forget guys if you too want to become whatever the heck it is we make in these labs all you have to do is leave a comment in the comment section and then i will throw it into the random generator i do not pick the random generator pick and one of you guys could end up being the next lab assistant because Kiara here is about to take her mean, city-loving, loner, geeky self and uh, go retire possibly on another planet because that sounds like something I would do if I was a mean, rich, geeky, loner. I'd go to an alien city and just like retire there. So that's what my advice to you, Kiara. That's my advice to you. But all right, let's go ahead and see out some of the older puppies. So we're actually going to have to say goodbye to Ananasoa, which sort of makes my head spin because she has been here for so long and so many experiments with us, but it is indeed time to see her bye. So Ananasoa, thank you for everything you did to bend the very, very genes in your body and truly question what it meant to be a canine. <sighs> All right, so she has gone out to the puppy play yard. We will send Mariska out with her as well. We will also send out the lovely Lachen, who did not inherit either the beak or the claws or hooves. But gosh, he is just such a, a, a very authentic looking dog, isn't he? You would never guess his family origins. And he just looks very sincere, very confused, but very sincere. So we're going to go ahead and release him to you. And we will even release Ashley, my wonderful hoof beaked. Mm, I, I was going to say dog, but again, we're kind of challenging the question of what is a dog in these latest experiments. And let us carry on by making Amy with two M's a mate of her own today and possibly continue to see those teeny tiny little cat things that we have added in as a special touch to our feline side of the family tree go to another generation. So let's do this. All right, let me pull up my numbers. Where are my numbers? I forgot my numbers. Come back your numbers. I need you. There we go. All right, I have my random numbers. Oh, Amy, you weren't supposed to have a kitten. I'm, oh gosh, now I feel bad because that was a really cute kitten too. Uh, okay, hang on, Amy. I'm supposed to add in a new cat. There we go. Gosh, no, no, not the same. No, please, spare me. Oh, all right, there we go. A mixed breed cat. Huh, we're getting things off. I just can't handle like the mischievous trait display and the hairball display. It just makes my, my like goosebumps pop up and I just want to like do a backflip possibly because I used to have a cat who did a lot of hairballs and that's never a pleasant experience for anyone. But let us begin by giving this cat a name drawn from the comments, like I said, that you guys have left behind. So Sarah, Sarah with an I has come to join us as Feline experiment Z dash zero no five one or five zero oh my gosh <laughs> I can't numbers <laughs> the fiftieth cat there we go so Sarah is here we will see what her traits are afterward I want to change everything about her and we haven't even picked the cat that she will be just yet uh, we randomized once now now we're going to randomize to nine so two 
Wow. This is an amazing cat. Wouldn't have minded if this turned out to be Sarah. Holy days. What a cool cat. Uh, all right, like, that's really awesome. Okay, all right, all right. Focus, focus, focus. I can do this. <clears throat> Two, three, four, woo, five. <gasps> love, 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 love. If I hadn't already named this cat, I would be keeping this cat right now. But this is this is the fiftieth cat. I can't just like go. Oh, I want to keep this cat and move on. I have to stick to my guns on this one. Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh. <laughs> Look at you, a little bunny tail, rounded ears, cute purple eyes. You're friendly, you're playful, you're a free spirit. I love that kind of personality for our 50th cat in these experiments. But when it comes to appearances, everything about you is about to change. So let's do this. All right, body is going to change 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to change the head shape, actually. We didn't need roll for a head shape change. You might end up being a very flat faced cat, Sarah. We're going to find out now with six rolls. One, two, three, four, five, six. <gasps> what? It's never, I don't think we've ever had a cat who had a flat face like this. This is gonna be totally different. I'm very excited. Let's see where we go here. Changing the ears uh, 12 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. There we go. We're going to be changing the nose four times. One, two, three, four. It just went higher. Oh, why is that so cute? But it is. We're going to be changing the face or the whiskers 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Blue! <gasps> is this another hint at the excellence that you are about to unleash in our genes? Let's see, let's see. Alright, and then four times on the eyes. One, two, three, four. Oh, huh, okay. This is interesting, contrasting colors. Let's see where we go. Uh, we already, did we do the tail? We did not do the tail. We're going to be changing the tail eight times and that might actually give us a chance at having the three tail the cat, which would be very exciting. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, okay, raccoon tail, I love raccoon tail. I will admit I, I am always a little biased for the three tails, but raccoon tail is quite exciting too. So here's where it gets interesting. Coat pattern, huh? One, two, and three. Okay, so this is the coat pattern that we are going to be working with with our 50th cat. Now we need to see what kind of colors we are going to be working with. We're going to be chasing, changing the base coat. One, two, three, four, five, six times. Ooh, kind of a nice white base, sort of icy. I like it, I like it. Maybe we'll get an ice colored cat to kind of go with the beautiful blue whiskers we have there. We're going to be changing the next color three times. One, two, three. <gasps> Sarah, look at you, you are like a giant strawberry at this point. I always say strawberry though. I actually kind of feel like cotton candy to be honest, especially with that big fluffy tail. So let's see. So that's, let's see. Three once on this color and eight times on this color. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my gosh, now you're a strawberry. Sarah the strawberry. I mean, how could you be anything other than a strawberry with a tail like that? Whoa, this is so cute. This is so cute. Please have strawberry kittens. Please have strawberry kittens. I would be so happy if you have strawberry kittens. Okay, we're not done yet. I've got to focus before we can get to the kittens. All right, six times on the fur type. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, a little bit smaller on the fur. And now we're going to see if we have any excellently additional or unfortunately accidental new traits to add in three times. One, two, three. <laughs> I think we got something. So let's take off that. Let's take off this. No, we didn't get anything. All right, so it's just Sarah the strawberry. I could have sworn I saw fangs zip by for just a second and they may have, but because of her face, 
it it didn't match uh like you couldn't see and i think they went away when the shark hat popped on so maybe that means that sarah's kittens at least will carry on those fangs so let's find out what happens when you combine a beautiful strawberry and an excellent fanged oracle cat amy come forth 12 kittens we get to look at today which is really fun because if i fall in love with any of them i can actually uh go ahead and i can add more of you guys into the family so let's do this. We're gonna mix our jeans with Sarah the Strawberry Cat. Oh my gosh. I always fall for those galaxy eyes. Every time, every time. I feel like this kitten needs to tell me something very important or be on a spaceship, one or the other. What do you look like as an adult? Pretty darn cute, pretty darn cute. I think I can keep going on without, without freaking out just yet, but let's see. Two. Okay, <laughs> they have some really interesting kittens. I was really hoping for pink. Three, four, five. Come on, pink. Six, seven, eight, nine. <gasps> we can have pink cats. Come on, Sarah. Come on, Sarah. Come on, Sarah. Ten, eleven. Pink, 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 12. Pink, 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 pink. Mm. All right, well, that's okay. We didn't end up with a pink cat, but we did actually end up with a colorful cat. So the curse of the gray cats has escaped us. Now let us go ahead and see if Francis here is going to, who is now feline experiment zero, five, one. Look at that. Let's see if Francis is going to inherit those fangs. So. I've got the dice in my hands. Rattle, rattle, roll. Ah, oh, and he didn't inherit the fangs. All right, well, that was pretty cool. He had a 50-50 chance to inherit the hangs from Amy. He did not. He did not inherit the really colorful patterns from Sarah for being a strawberry cat either. But I think he's quite handsome in his own right. Let's go ahead and assign traits. An aloof cat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Who is mischievous. Oh, come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And clever. Oh, I wasn't able to count fast enough. <laughs> All right. So an aloof, clever, mischievous cat is no doubt the kind of cat who will keep me constantly on my toes when it comes to running this lab. But I have to say, I kind of want to see what more strawberry kittens would look like, to be completely honest. So let me go ahead and we're gonna play with genetics. And I just wanna see like, what would the next strawberry kitten we could have look like? I'm gonna keep going till we get, oh, a strawberry kitten. Look at this one. Oh my gosh. What would you look like as an adult? Pretty much just like Sarah. Pretty much just like Sarah. So that would be what one of the strawberry kittens would look like. I wanna see again. I want to keep going till we get another strawberry kitten. Oh, ooh, strawberry kitten number two. Just like mom, with an even fluffier tail. Oh my goodness, I like these strawberry kittens. I kind of love the idea of maybe having one of my Sims in one of my series accidentally like have one of their plants mutate and like produce strawberry kittens and then we could just see how long we could keep the strawberry kitten family tree going i really love that idea it totally sounds like something i would do expect to see it in the future <sighs> all right so let's see what would the next kitten that's a strawberry look like i just want to see like a couple more if i fall in love oh <gasps> hi oh look at you gosh i love this coloring i'm kind of curious so let's actually, okay, one more, one more strawberry kitten. I wanna see the next strawberry kitten. This is a strawberry kitten. Looks a lot like Sarah. So what if we took this mystery strawberry kitten and I had them breed again? And we, yeah, th then another strawberry. So this would be th like third generation strawberry. I'm not actually gonna keep them because they all look like Sarah. Sarah, how long would your strawberry kitten faceness keep going? Generation three. And I want strawberry kittens. Generation four. All right. So the, it would take about four generations to escape the look of the flat face and it kind of gets, or honestly, an, an identical clone to Sarah. But what happens at five generations? Let me see your strawberry. Oh, there was a strawberry sun. Back up, back up. 
And all right. You know, now I really like that idea of a challenge, trying to keep specific types of animal patterns alive with my legacy families, so that that way, even if they kind of change and tweak a little bit over time, maybe the strawberry coloring could deepen, for instance, uh, it would be kind of fun to be able to carry on and just breed the animals again and again until we could keep having like strawberries and always have a strawberry cat of some kind on our lot. Uh, which may result in having a lot of kittens to try to get there. So that would be a fun challenge for all of my little legacy families. I'm gonna remember that. But all right, so we have gone ahead and not ended up with a strawberry kitten or a fanged cat, but Francis puts us firmly past the halfway point on the feline side of our challenge, and I am quite happy with everything that has been done. Cats or dogs, next time I will roll the random generator to see what we will do, and I'm going to need the help of a brand new lab assistant to be able to bring their own special, special touch into our lab. So be sure to leave your comments, guys, and you oh, can become that lab assistant. I promise the pay is fantastic, and I will We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.